of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Paliog maglingkod ang tanan. Sa sinihingabahin, aton karon pamatian ang halangdon ng presidente sa Catholic Bishops Conference of the Philippines, Archbishop Socrates Villegas, sa iya minsahe para sa mga tumulo sa dioceses ng Bacolod. Your Excellencies, the Archbishops and Bishops of the Philippines, most particularly Bishop Navarra, our Bishop Emeritus, the religious sisters and brothers, brother priests, the honorable government officials and brothers and sisters in Christ. I can speak on behalf of all the bishops that when we are called, appointed as bishops or sent to dioceses as local ordinaries, the question always is, why me? When a bishop is sent to a diocese, he is sent as a minister of mysteries. And he begins his mission not understanding why he is being sent to a diocese, not understanding the reason behind the decision, but only saying, ad sum, fiat, let it be done to me according to your will. Bishop Pat Buson comes to the Diocese of Bacolod as a minister of mysteries. He doesn't know why he's being sent here. We don't know why he's being sent here. But God knows. And God certainly knows that at this time, in the pilgrimage of Bacolod, Bishop Pat Buzon is the good shepherd that this church needs. To you, our dear people in the Diocese of Bacolod, you can only understand the mission of being Pat if you look at him as a man carrying the mysteries of the good shepherd. He is not the president of a corporation. He is not the chairman of an NGO. He comes here as a man of mystery, representing Christ the head, representing Christ the Good Shepherd. He is being sent here in order to dispense with the mysteries of the Lord. It is a mysterious mission because it is a mission that will be undertaken under the shadow of the cross. It is a mission that will be undertaken with the promise of the resurrection. Brothers and sisters in Christ, you have a new bishop. Please accept him in faith. He comes to you carrying the mysteries of the Lord. He comes to you carrying the mysteries of the mission of the church. He comes to you carrying the mysteries of the blessings, the graces that the Lord has entrusted to His church. You will not be able to understand His mission if you have no faith. And it is only in the light of faith that Bishop Pat's mission can be understood. Understood temporarily. Because truth to tell, my dear brothers and sisters, the mission of a bishop, the dignity of a bishop, the role of a bishop, the love of the Lord for a bishop cannot be fully understood here on earth. Because if you would understand the bishop's role here on earth, you would die. Because your mind is too small, your heart is too small to contain the immensity of that mysterious mission. The work of Bishop Pat, as the work of Bishop Navarra, as the work of every bishop, as the work of the Bishop of Rome cannot be fully understood here on earth. It can only be understood in heaven because the work of a bishop is to bring the mysteries of heaven to earth. 
I come from the Archdiocese of Lingue and Dagupan. And in our province, when it rains, our farmers tell us the heavens come down to kiss the earth. On the installation of Bishop Pat as the sixth bishop of Bacolod, it rained because the heavens came down to kiss the soil. And you can tell your children and your grandchildren that every time you see a bishop, heaven comes down to us to kiss us, to caress us, because your bishop is the face of the mercy of God for Bacolod.